Brother, sister, this is your energy. Brother Wisdom, what's going on, guys? You look at these crystals here. All right. We tell you that these crystals are made of plasma, which they are. Um, like lie. That's carbon, pure carbon in different forms because carbon comes in different uh, forms of itself. All right. Um, these are all byproducts of dark energy. Dark energy is an energy within itself that created itself some timeless time ago. All right, you can't put any time on, on energy because dark energy is energy. All right, so it created itself some timeless time ago and it is the purest form of energy known. All right, dark energy comes directly from our sun. So when they say our sun sent a coronal mass ejection to the planet our, the, our sun is sending dark energy which anything that's inorganic on the planet is going to be greatly affected by the massive amount of dark energy because our sun which I realized this morning after going to meditation and talking to the ascended masters and um, the council of dragons, you know, it came to me and said, they, they came to me, they said, you know, this is a, a galactic sun, not a universal sun. So you've always been saying universal sun, but it's a galactic sun because each galaxy has its own sun. Each galaxy in this universe has its own sun that provides uh, dark energy for each galaxy. And it's not one sun across the universe, it's each galaxy. So each galaxy has its own vibrations. Each galaxy has its own frequency, even though the frequency is in relation to the, the frequency of the universe. The universe, which means one frequency. All right. So what we're looking at is we're looking at the most powerful energy known on the planet. Now, we as the original beings of this of this world, we so-called black people. All right. We are organic to our planet. All right. We're organic to our planet and we need the dark energy from our sun. So our atmospheric sun. All right. We have an atmospheric sun. Uh, we have we have two moons. We actually have two atmospheric suns. But those suns pull dark energy directly from the master sun. All right. Which is the galactic sun. All right. Which they call Ratan. You know, our son would be Ra, but our master son would be Ratan. All right. So, um, our son, which is dark energy, which is also a planet, also was a do. It provides energy from all the other planets. Each one of our planets, like our planet Kai, our planet is a sun. All right, and and this is something that we. Uh, told everyone earlier our planet is a sun all right and when you are traveling through our galaxy and you see our planet from afar it's a blue sun all right so our sun our galactic sun that dark the black sun all right which they have to look through infrared to see the black sun infrared infra blue infra green infra purple all right they use the different infras which is which is like a a, a, a a dark light that's designed to detect dark energy all right so when they look through look through their uh, uh system that they created from our technology all right <laughs> all right you gotta give us the, the credit for it um what they see is our black sun. And that's what you, when you're watching Wages World, Nemesis Maturity, Suspicious Observers, and you see that um, that sun in the infra and it's spinning, that is our uh, galactic sun that they're looking at. All right? That's our galactic sun. So um, as you 
stand, we as the original beings, as we stand under our sun and we work and we do things under our sun, we're collecting dark energy into our bodies because our uh, so-called black bodies, our, uh, our bodies need this dark energy. We are dark energy beings. And there's so many other beings on our planet who want to be like us. All right. We're dark energy beings and we are supposed to uh, be in the energy of the sun. All right. We're supposed to be in the energy of the uh, uh, within the sun. All right. And this is how we operate. But yet still, we have an enemy who wants to stop the sun. That's why stop the energy of the sun from coming in. That's why they have so many places on our planet and the skies are completely covered. All right. You defeat that by building structures because what happens when you build structures? The structures will say it releases pure carbon, pure carbon into the atmosphere. Carbon is one of the main byproducts of dark energy. Okay. Carbon is one of the main byproducts of dark energy. And the main byproduct of carbon is plasma. All right. Dark energy is uh, 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 literally an uh, energy that is that that is created within itself, like we said before. So it is energy that is within itself that creates energy. And from that dark energy creates matter. Each one of our planets are full of dark matter and that dark matter are the elements. Dark matter is the elements or the elemental value that is created through dark energy. So all of your elements that we have on the planet, all right, every element, which is highly radioactive, all right, extremely radioactive, uh, some of it and, and, and magnetic and um, uh, electrical, all right, all of all of the elements are the byproduct of dark energy. All right, they are made directly from dark energy. All right, which means we elemental beings, we are children of the sun. When they say we're children of the sun, we're literally dark energy in the physical. All right, which is which means that we are supposed to be operating on a much higher level than what mankind wants us to do a desire for us to, to operate, but it's not his desires that matter. It's all about the original beings tapping into that original energy and power that belongs to us so that we can flow on the right frequencies and vibrations of our planet. All right. So the key point is for us to strive to build the dark energy within us this is why we're building structures. All right. This is why we're building structures. This is why we're creating. All right. Why? Because dark energy creates. All right. All these planets out here was created by dark energy. And we were we were the energy. We're the we're the energy beings who created that dark energy. We are that energy. And then in return, our planet created us in the physical that we may protect this energy because you know it's all throughout the cosmos you know you got inorganic beings who don't belong all right in certain areas you know just like uh these inorganic beings on our planet they come from other universes and other universes are made of dark energy they're made of uh, uh, uh different elements but each universe has got its own frequency all right, so so the lower vibrational beings on our planet were not designed for this extremely high vibrational planet, but they invaded because they wanted something to conquer. They wanted to, you know, they, they it, was, it was a challenge to them to try to conquer some of the greatest beings across this galaxy. Now we have to return back into power. So what do we do? We build the power that we desire, which means it takes us into uh, a, a level of excessive energy. All right. So this is all about dark energy and we are dark energy beings. We are literally dark energy in the flesh. We're dark energy in the physical. We're the ones who can create all things from nothing. All right. And this is the design that, uh, we were created by and we must dig deep within ourselves to, uh, 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 manifest in the physical what we need done on our planet. 
All right. So it's up to us, brothers and sisters, to understand, understand, overstand everything that's here. So dark energy is the is 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 the essence of all life throughout the cosmos, all your planets. You know, our planet, like I said, our planet is the sun. All right, our planet is the sun. So dark energy, Jupiter, Venus, Mars, they are all suns. They're all suns. This is just what they are. All right. So we've got to take our planet back in full force, which means that us building and creating restores the carbon and the dark energy. Because what we say, the return of the carbon, the carbon is returning. Nature says, hey, OK, you know, these beings are trying to stop dark energy and the carbon from flowing. That's why they say, you know, we're doing this to stop carbon emissions to stop the flow of carbon and carbon is one of the main byproducts of dark energy so they're trying to stop the flow of dark energy on the planet all right which is designed to keep life immortal we're supposed to be into immortality this is why we had all the fruits and the vegetables you know you go into the wheat fields the wheats the wheat fields De depend strictly on the sun, which is dark energy. We have all our fruits and vegetables that we eat. Fruits and vegetables are full of what? Dark energy, especially the organic ones. Dark energy. So understand, my brothers and sisters, that dark energy is the essence of our life and is how we're supposed to operate. All right? Especially, especially on extremely higher levels. All right? So, share that with you guys. I'm going to come to you guys a little later. You know the deal. All power to the multi-chakra celestial angelic beings. My chaos will reign with you forever and ever and ever. Much power to you all.